Welcome back to the Piney Woods Homestead, y'all. I thought today was a great day to get up here and clean up around this off-grid cabin that we're still working on. We'll go around and get some brush cleaned up, maybe yank a few more of these little sweet gums out, and just do an overall cleanup here around it. Get to see the before and after of it here, y'all. It's like a jungle right now. I'll we'll see if I can clean it up in about an hour. Guys, thanks for stopping in at Piney Woods. Hit that like and subscribe if you haven't, and if you have, as always, y'all, we appreciate you. We'll get on this machine and stay away from all the ticks that are crawling around. So y'all, the plan here is just to make it a little bit less snaky. <laughs> less ticky and less snaky while we're up here working on this thing because we're going to be jumping on it here real soon, guys, and finishing this thing up. But a lot of sweet gums growing around it, and I really just want to get those removed so that we've got a blank slate to work with. Still plenty of woods around. We just want to pull those back a little bit so that we don't have all those little sweet gum balls dropping all around this cabin and just making a mess to clean up and a mess to walk on. And more sweet gums coming up up here before we can eradicate them. So that's the plan. And I'm going to do a little bit of ditch work right here behind the cabin just to make that water when we do have heavy rains come around and move out better. So buckle up. I'm going to put this thing on the excavator, I think, so you can see per first eye view. And we're going to get a little bit of work done.
I don't know if y'all could see this just a second ago, but where I was digging at around in here, saw something moving. It was a terrapin turtle. I don't know if you could actually see that in the camera, but rewind and see if you can see it too. It crawled up under this pallet of firewood we've got up here. Good sized turtle, and this reminded me, when I was a kid, I found this little terrapin turtle. Had one, he was one square, he was a baby. Just running through the woods and found him, and that was back before I knew you're not supposed to keep things like that. And we kept him, named him Harry. Kept him, I bet, for six or seven years. And finally, one day, one spring, we decided to turn him loose and let him be back in the wild. <laughs> and uh, that turtle, he would stick his head out. We could scratch him under the chin. He was just a, a good little pet, and it was something that I had to maintain, keep his little turtle house clean and everything. But, you know, a year later, a turtle came back up in the backyard with one more square than what Harry left with and stuck his chin out and I rubbed him up under the chin. So we kept Harry, we put him back in the house, back in this turtle house and Harry laid some eggs. So I guess it was a Harriet. But long story short, we turned Harry and I believe the eggs back out into the wild because I don't think that it hatched. But either way, I was young, so don't hold that against me. But we took good care of that turtle, and that just reminded me of old Harry, or Harriet.
y'all think, but I think that looks a whole lot better. Less snaky, less ticky up here. I still got to get up here and till all this up because we can plant some grass seed up here where the little front yard will be. Not much of a yard, be a fire pit. Mulch around the back. Probably go out here and pluck some native eastern red cedar to replant along the back side. We like using stuff that's already growing in the woods versus going and buying something when we're doing something like this. But guys, this looks pretty good. Got to get up here and run the machine a little bit. And now I feel comfortable bringing Lisa up here to work on this thing without not being able to see snakes and get so many ticks. I've been pulling ticks off over the past couple of days, y'all. It's fun times. Guys, y'all have a good day, a great week. We'll see you on the next one. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise too high.